What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I'm gonna to be showing off more than 18 of my favorite most useful series shortcuts as well as explaining how they were built. Now if you are not familiar with shortcuts or how to build them from the ground up, make sure you check out my beginner's guide playlist that is linked up in the cards and down in the description below. That playlist is gonna give you a basic understanding of how shortcuts work and how everything works together because in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the shortcuts and also providing a link for all of them down in the description below but you're not really gonna be learning how to actually build them and and build your own custom shortcuts. All right, so let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and get into the shortcuts. So the very first one is going to be search Amazon. And what this does is that it allows you to scan a barcode and it will immediately search Amazon for that product with the barcode on it. So let me give you an example. If I click on that and I scan this right here, this is an iPhone 10s. You can see the barcode right there. We'll pick it up here in a second. There we go. So it picked it up and it asks you if you want to open up Amazon, click OK. And you can see we'll pull up an iPhone 10s, which is exactly what I just scanned there. And this is a super useful shortcut for many different situations. So say you're in like a Best Buy or something like that, somewhere where you do price match, something where a store will price match any price from Amazon. So if you just scan the back of the barcode, you can instantly see what that price is on Amazon and maybe you can get it cheaper in store. Or if you're somebody who likes to flip things, you can see if the price is higher on Amazon. So maybe you can buy it and then flip it on Amazon and make a profit. There's just so many different use cases for the shortcut. And I actually just used this yesterday when I was picking up something from Best Buy and sure enough Amazon had a lower price so I was able to price match it just quickly using the shortcut and get that same price uh, that Amazon had at Best Buy so super useful shortcut there and if you click on the three dots you can see it was built by doing a scan QR code and then count the characters and you can see we have an if then statement here so if the input was less than 12 then it was not a UPC otherwise it will scan it and instantly go into Amazon and you can see we have that custom string of text there to go into the Amazon application with putting the uh, barcode, the actual numbers in there at the end of this URL. So like I said, the links for all these will be down in the description below. I'm not gonna describe every single detail of how these shortcuts work. I'm just gonna give you a basic overview and you can download it with the link in the description and go through it yourself. And of course you can modify all these to your liking if you want to. Next up is another shortcut related to Amazon and this is Amazon price history. So let's go into the Amazon app real quick and let me show you how this works. So let's not do the iPhone here. Let's just go back to the home screen let's do these random shoes right here let's just pick these random shoes so you can see right here we have these shoes and they are $130 but let's say we want to know if they were cheaper last week or if they were more expensive last week let's see if we can possibly see if an upcoming deal is coming we want to know basically what the price history has looked like so if we go down here to share and shortcuts Amazon price history. You can see we get a chart from Camel 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 that will show the price history. So this was a bad one just because there's not really much data, but let me show you a different one. Share shortcuts. Amazon price history. And then you can see we have a chart here of the price history for that specific product. So for instance, in this product, you can see just a couple months ago, it sold for $119 and now it's down to $84. So we're getting a good deal now if we buy this now. So this can make us, you know, this could, uh, you know, tell us if we're making a good purchasing decision, if we're making sure that we're getting the cheapest price possible or if we're getting ripped off and it's, you know, higher now than it was a week ago. So this is a super useful shortcut and Camel Camel Camel, of course, is a great uh, site where you can look up the history of products and their pricing. So if we go back to the shortcuts and take a look at how this was built, this one was pretty advanced. So you're probably not gonna figure out how to do this one on your own. So you may as well just download it from the link in the description, not even question or you know modify anything in here. But basically it was getting the text from the input. It was matching that text and then putting it into the end of the URL right here for Camel Camel Camel. And then you can see right here, it was getting certain contents of the URL putting this pattern in and then basically getting an image from the input, getting the image from the Camel 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 website and then having it in a quick look window instead of downloading the photo. So this one is super useful, especially for somebody who shops on Amazon a lot like I do. It's really good to know when you're actually getting a good price or when you can maybe wait a week to get a lower price. The next shortcut is social media downloader. And this is gonna allow you to download video, photos, anything from any social media application. So this includes downloading YouTube videos, downloading Instagram photos, downloading Twitter videos, Videos, Twitter photos. It's actually super, super useful. So if we click on it, you can see that the first thing that pops up is the Instagram story savers. So you can save stories by simply putting it in there. But the best way to do this is to actually go into something like YouTube and we'll get the link and we're just gonna copy the link of a video and we're gonna go back and tap on social media downloader. And you can see it's actually working now to download that video since it was copied to our clipboard. 
So there you go, we get the download option now to download and all the way up to 720p. And if we click on that, it will download it straight to our camera roll, which is awesome. So if we click on download 720p, you can see it's going through this long process. We could do save in or open in, let's click save. Okay, and now if we go to our camera roll, you can see we have that video right there. And like I said, this works for Twitter videos, Instagram photos, all that good stuff. And you saw you could also download from the store. You could also save these stories and things like that. So if we go into how this works, it's actually pretty advanced. So I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, but you could see basically it has the different conditions for different social media applications. And it's a super, super long process that I'm not gonna go through, like I said. So just download this in the description below and you will be able to download anything you want from social media straight through shortcuts. The next shortcut is device screenshots. And this is actually going to add a border of like an iPhone to all of your screenshots. So it looks really good when you share those screenshots. So if we click on that, it's going to ask you, do you want to download device images and install? You're going to click OK. And then you can see it did work right there. So if we go into our photos and go to a screenshot and click on the share, go all the way over until we see shortcuts, device screenshots, and then you choose which device you actually want the border to be. So I'm going to do the iPhone 10. And you can see there we have a really cool image of our screenshot inside of an iPhone 10. So this is really cool again for sharing things on social media or just to have. It's really awesome that you could do this straight from shortcuts. And this is another one that I'm not going to go through. You could just download this in the description below. The next one is the discount calculator, which I actually showed in my previous shortcuts video on actually how to build this. So if we click on this, let's say we want to know what 40% off of $120 is. So let's do $120 dollars is the price we want to know what 40 percent off is and you can see right there it says that you will save 48 dollars and the new total will be 72 dollars so this one is super useful and i did show how to build this again in the previous video so if you want to know the details on exactly how i built this just go back and watch my previous video on shortcuts the next one is another very useful one for imdb ratings so if you find yourself on netflix a lot if you find yourself on hulu a lot and you're basically wondering you know what to watch and you want to know if it's good or not and you want to check the imdb score this is a great shortcut for that so if you click on it and you type in a movie or tv show you're interested in so i'll just type in better call saul Okay. And it will automatically give you a pop-up of the actual rating on IMDb. So you can see right there, it shows that Better Call Saul got a rating of 8.7 out of 10. So this is really cool. If you want to just talk to Siri when your device is just sitting over, you want to ask what the rating is, you could do that. Again, you do that by going into these three dots, clicking this and setting up a voice command right there. And you can also do this from the share sheet as well. It's pretty useful that way as well. And I'm not going to really run through everything in here again, because it is pretty advanced and you're not really going to learn anything from looking at this. So the next shortcut is days until and this is another very useful one if you have like a trip coming up or if you have like an anniversary or a wedding coming up and you want to know how many days are till that date so let's say the starting date is today and we want to know how long it's going to be until december 10th 2019 so let's click ok and you can see it shows that we have 425 days between today and december 10th 2019. so again this is pretty cool to just have as a shortcut if you just want to constantly be reminded when a special event is coming up it's pretty cool to just have that there and just a quick note guys make sure you do have these shortcuts added to your widgets panel if you don't have it there just go all the way down click edit and then add shortcuts and add it to the top you can you, you know activate all of these shortcuts straight from within widgets it's a really quick way that way you don't have to open up the application and you can do it from right here so if you click on days until you can see it just pulls it up immediately like that and this one was pretty simple to build we basically just set variables for the start date the end date and then the time in between dates and basically all the magic happens inside of the alert right here just a lot of magic variables going on right here which are the most valuable tool you can use and actually utilize inside of shortcuts the next one is calculate tip and this is another one i showed how to build in my very first series shortcuts video so if you haven't seen that check it out in the description so let's say the bill is 120 dollars and 74 cents and the service was great, so we want to give a 20% tip. You can see it shows you that the tip is $24.15 and the total bill is $144.89. So just another very simple yet very, very useful shortcut that I use every single time I go out to eat. And like I said, I showed how to build this. If you want to see all the details on that, make sure to watch the video down in the description and also in the cards up above. The next one is convert burst to gift. And this is very self-explanatory. All this does is it will combine your burst photos and make them into a GIF, which is actually really useful. And it actually turns out uh, to be a very good gift. They actually turn out to be a good gif when you do this i originally had the set video like make a video a gif but i found that burst photos actually make a much better gif than videos do so if we click on that and just go to a photo let's just say this one 
you can see it will automatically convert it to a GIF and it will pop up right away and it will give you the option to save it. So it does take a few seconds to actually run through the process here. But you can see right there, we have a GIF of me in Jamaica trying to get ready for a picture to be taken right there. So pretty cool. And again, you can save it just simply by clicking the share button right there and downloading it. And you also get this prompt right here as well. So this one was really easy to build as well. Basically you just have the find photos where the photo type is a burst. And then you get to choose from the list of the burst photos. You can see right there, it's by latest first. And then you have the make a GIF loop forever auto size. And then you have the choose from menu where you want to save it to your photos or save it to files or something like that. So really easy to build that one. And the next one is sales tax. And this is another self-explanatory one. It's just going to show you how much tax is actually added on to a certain price. So it will need access to your location because it is location based. This way it works with every single state. So if we put in our subtotal, let's say $255.96, you can see that the total after tax is $273.37. And you can see this one was built by basically getting the state, your location, and then using the state as your location uh, and basically showing local only. And then it shows you all of the values for each state right there. And then it takes the subtotal and multiplies it by the value right there. And then it does round it up and it gives you the final rounded total. So that is a very useful one as well. And you can kind of use that in tandem with the calculating a tip or the discount calculator. The next one is directions home. And this is another very useful one. If you're lost, you don't really know where you are and you just want to get home by saying, to Siri, you know, get me home. Or of course you could just simply click one button from the widgets panel or within shortcuts for directions home, you click on it it immediately takes you to the route to get there. Uh, obviously this is a fake location right now and I have location services off, but if it was on, it would automatically set up a route for you to get home with a predetermined destination. So if you click on the three dots right there, basically you just set your street address and then show directions for driving. This is a super simple one to build, but yet a super effective one to have in your shortcuts library. And this goes perfectly with the next one as well. And this is home ETA. So if you click on this, let's click okay to access our contacts. And it will actually send a text to a specific person that will show, hey, I'll be home around 1.26 a.m. So what it does to get this time right here of 1.26 a.m. is that it pulls your current location and then it pulls the location of your home and gives an ETA as to when you'll be home again and you can send it to a specific person. So if we go into these three dots right here, you can see right here we have our street address. We have get travel time from the current location. And then we have the text right here. Hey, this is basically what's going to go into the message. Hey, I'll be home around ETA. And of course you can modify this text to say whatever you want. And then we have that going into send message, show and run, and you can add a recipient right there. So that's another very useful one that I have actually used on my daily driver at least two times already. The next one is going to sleep. And this is a very simple one that you can see right there. I just turn my brightness all the way down. So I'm going to have to click on waking back up which is the next one I want to show you. So basically going to sleep is going to allow you to set the brightness to zero, set the do not disturb on and also enable alarm. So you can see right here, enable the alarm for 535 and also enable the alarm for 555 in case I didn't wake up for the first one. So basically I could just tell Siri that I'm going to sleep and it will do all that. And then the next one is waking up. So I could tell Siri when I'm waking up and it will turn the brightness back to whatever I want turn do not disturb off and also disable both of my alarms. So this is another useful one that I use pretty much every single day. And the next one is more of a gimmick, but it's actually pretty funny and pretty useful. And that is word count from a YouTube video. And if we enter the YouTube link right here, let's go to YouTube and get a video. Let's just say Costco, cause they're probably gonna say Costco a lot in this video. Let's paste this link, okay. We wanna know how many times Costco was said in this video. So you can see Costco was only mentioned 15 times. That's surprising in this video. So again, a pretty gimmicky little shortcut here, but it's actually pretty funny to use, especially when it's a content creator like myself using this. I can see which words I say a lot and maybe I need to cut back on saying that word so much. So you can see right here, all it does is it asks for the input and asks for the word, and then it gets the URL from DIYcaptions.com, which will basically run through uh, the closed captions of that video and match it with the certain word that you're looking for how many times it was said. So a pretty funny yet gimmicky shortcut there. The next one is Wi-Fi via QR code. And this is yet another shortcut that I showed how to build in one of my videos. So if you haven't seen that, check it out in the cards in the description. But if you click on this, basically it pulls up a QR code that will show you or it will allow you to get into the Wi-Fi network without touching a button. So basically if you had another device or somebody came to your house, all they'd have to do is pull up the camera, scan this QR code, and they would instantly be connected to your Wi-Fi network. And if you go into the three dots right here, you can see 
All it does is it pulls your Wi-Fi name, it gets that variable as the SSID, you enter the password as the text right there, then it gets that text as the password, and then you have this little string of text right here, and it puts that into a QR code. And then of course you do need quick look down here, so it does pull up that image right away. The next two are taking off and landing, and these are two that I also showed in previous videos, but basically if you're traveling on an airplane, let's click these three dots. I'm not gonna run this because I don't wanna go into airplane mode, but you can see it will put me in airplane mode, put on low power mode and also do not disturb. And I could do this by simply asking Siri or by clicking the shortcut in here. And then when I'm landing, you can see it simply just toggles all of those off. So this is super useful if you are a frequent traveler. And then the final shortcut is probably the most useful shortcut of all. And that is backing up your full library of shortcuts. So if I click on this, you can see you can choose whatever shortcut you want or all of them if you want, click done. And it will automatically save them to your files application, your iCloud drive. So if we go into the three dots right here, you can see basically it shows you to get the shortcuts, choose from the list, and then it will save the file automatically. You can also have this to save. You can ask it where to save if you want, but I have it set to automatically save to the destination of shortcuts inside of files. So just to check it out, if we go into my files application, iCloud Drive, if we scroll all the way down, you can see we have shortcuts right there, and here are all of my shortcuts. And you can see those device frames were also added in here as well. And this is great if shortcuts crashes or if you just have some kind of memory loss and all your shortcuts are gone one day. This way they are all backed up and you can import them back to shortcuts if anything were to happen. So anyways, guys, there you have it. Those are my favorite, most useful Siri shortcuts here in iOS 12. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got at least one new shortcut in your library from this video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. I would really, really appreciate it. Also, make sure to leave a comment down below if you have any other useful series shortcuts that I may add in my next video showing off my top 10, top 15, top 20, whatever it ends up being in the next video. I do plan on making another video just like this showing off my favorite shortcuts at the moment. So if you have one that you would like to suggest, make sure to leave that down in the comment below. If you have any other questions, concerns, anything at all, make sure to leave it in the comment below and I will probably respond because I do love responding to you guys down there. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.